Hola, reyes y reinas, high kings and queens. I pray that today I find you excited. What are we excited for, Esme? We're excited to do an exchange right now. We're excited with expectancy um, to go out and serve the world, but more than anything, to have the Lord's presence, the Holy Spirit with us, guiding us, giving us insight, revelation, uh, much knowledge, clarity, um, peace, protection, joy, all the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Um, so if I don't find you like that today, I'm going to pray that right now that we leave this devotional, that we're activated with the fruits of the Holy Spirit and that we exchange whatever it is that we have that may be having us in a funk, whatever may have us upset, disappointed, heartbroken, whatever it is, confusion. It, it, it Right now, I pray in the name of Jesus, we have a miraculous exchange. Those things cannot exist coexist with the holy spirit so i pray right now that we lay all of our burdens down all of our trials all of our tribulations in the name of jesus have your way lord we thank you for life we thank you for air in our lungs and i just pray right now lord that whoever needs broken whoever needs to be broken and 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 that where they could just break and give you father all of the broken pieces lord that you put us back together i just pray that we have value added to added to our lives and we leave this devotional with great peace that surpasses all understanding and a knowing father that you were with us we want your spirit lord in jesus name have your way lord thank you father for today we're reading today from psalm 130 which is with with you there is forgiveness and maybe there's some of us out there that need to forgive others or forgive ourselves or forgive our parents or forgive our children whatever it is that you're needing i just pray that we leave today greater than what i found you and today's title is he forgives thank you lord for forgiveness for real um therefore we should forgive quickly mark's hand shook as he maneuvered his touchpad scrolling through his online story the page seemed endless. It contained several years worth of every date and time he'd log in to an online gambling site. God already helped me God already helped me overcome my addiction, Mark said, and I know he's forgiven me. Amen. When I stumbled upon my computer history that day, the enormity of my past sin distressed me. There it was, all my deceit, recklessness and recklessness recorded. That day helped me appreciate a new God's forgiveness, Mark said. Where would I be if I had, if he'd held that online record against me? Mark echoed, Mark echoed what David in Psalm 133 says. If you, Lord, kept a record of sin, who could stand? God knows the depths of our sinfulness. This is why he sent his son Jesus to die on our behalf. With Christ, we have full redemption. The word of redemption comes from the Hebrew word pada which means to ransom, to pay the necessary price so that someone can be freed from punishment. Thank you, Jesus. This is what Jesus' death accomplished for us. And as we walk with him today, he promises us forgiveness for the sins we still commit whenever we turn to him in repentance. You can read more on that on Psalm 130 um, through 4, 1 John 1 through 9. 1 9, I'm sorry. Mark deleted his online history that day. In the same way, God's forgiveness has forever erase the record of our sins amen thank you jesus today's questions are how might doubts regarding god's forgiveness be holding you back in your relationship with him i will tell you every day i wake and i have a reminder at times where i could be given a testimony or have a reminder that um you were there as me like that that's that's probably who you are that's who you are you'll never change who are you to speak of god i get that every time i'm gonna go live and that's why i speak and i say let's exchange that because i live through the power of the holy spirit i live through his forgiveness and therefore i want to forgive others i want to encourage others i want to be more like christ is it easy no but i would tell you that that's a lot of the things that i face daily like my my past wants to remind me of all these things and then i'm like hello let me reintroduce myself i am esme in 2023 i am no longer the girl that i was in 1998 i am no longer the girl i was i'm a woman now i'm a queen i'm living and walking in the power of the holy spirit in his forgiveness so therefore i know that i can take on anything and everything through the power of the holy spirit so if you need that today i'm in agreement with you i'm praying with you that you recognize and you affirm and you know without a shadow of the doubt you know you're forgiven so therefore you must forgive others you are loved therefore you should love others you are saved so let's go out and get others to know who christ is so they can be saved too so they will not be living in the lies in the pits of hell from the pits of hell because the enemy i will tell you he puts fear in us and sometimes that fear can make us behave out of character it can make us go do things that we normally wouldn't do but it's because we're not trusting in the holy spirit or god that god's got us the second question is how can psalm 130 reassure you 
I'm telling you when it says with you there is forgiveness, it, it reminds me that because God is there, I am forgiven. I am renewed. I have a new authority. I am renewed. I will always have my flesh wanting, you know, to sin or desiring sinful things. However, if my mind and my spirit are right, they're going to control my actions and therefore it's going to control this flesh we got right here. And today's prayer is, dear God, where would I be without your love and mercy? Hmm. Where would we be without his love and mercy? I'm telling you, I would be lost somewhere that I don't even want to think about because I know when I was lost and I was angry and bitter and disappointed and mad at the whole world, I never want to be that woman again or that girl again because I had a small mentality. Um, I let what people say about me, like I let my, ide my identity, like I was in agreement with that. And when I got in agreement with God, I shed that off. And that's why I wake every day surrendering to the Lord because he's got me. Oh, I'm sorry. I, was, I interrupted the prayer. Sorry, someone needed that. Maybe it was just me. So, dear God, where would we be without your love and mercy? Thank you so much for your indescribable gift of forgiveness. Thank you so much for the indescribable gift of your forgiveness. In Jesus' name, I pray that that blesses you today. And today, I am wearing... The Sarah Lash, if I can find it. I am wearing the Sarah Lash. Uh, I loaded it up with mascara because I wanted to have a more dramatic look. And where, where are these lashes from? They're from the Lord and Esme Beauty Holy Lash Collection. What is that, Esme? The first and only Holy Lash Collection. Consecrated, dedicated to God, named in honor of women in the Bible. Sarah, you can read about her in the book of Genesis. However, there's a scripture in the back and a QR code that will take you to my YouTube channel. If you don't catch my videos here on Instagram, the Esme Mandel, you can find them on the Lord and Esme on YouTube. This one, is, I believe, is $9. If not, it's $10, $9 or $10. Um, and I'll put the purchasing link below. If you're in the San Antonio surrounding areas, I will get it to you. Godspeed. If not, I will ship it. These can be used many, many times. I use them a lot of times. I, I try to give you more, more investment, a dollar, more bang for your buck. Because you can put them back in this clear acrylic case that opens and closes. And therefore, you will properly take care of your lashes so you can get the most out of your finances. Because we're trying to generate wealth, create wealth, um, and break the, the, break the, the poverty mentality and break the poverty in our lives in Jesus name. So I pray that you're blessed and I pray that today's um, devotional blessed you, activated in you and that you do an exchange when you see this video that you lay down all of the negativity, you lay down all the opposite of the fruits of the spirit. So therefore you can pick up the fruits of the spirit and therefore you can face your day, conquer your day in Jesus name. I'm praying for you. If I find you in depression, stress or anxiety, I'm praying for you. I'm in agreement with you that you're healed and I'm, thank I'm thankful that I get to share the word with you. So God bless you. Remember your king or queen live act believe as a child of the most high and love as a child of the most high don't let anyone or anything that is said to you done to you uh make you believe that you're less than that so in jesus name be blessed i'll see y'all tomorrow bye